welcome back to a Cheap Wolf Collection. My name is Brooke. I'm a huge collector of many things, but I mainly specialize in Sailor Moon goods. Today we have an item to look at, which is the Sailor Moon Cosmos visual book. This just came out recently in Japan, and it was very, very easy to import if you lived outside of Japan. There were many places you could pre-order from, such as CD Japan, Amazon Japan, AmiAmi.com, and more. Full list of places where you could have grabbed this, and you might still be able to as well, is down there in the description. Click our that link down there that takes you to our Sailor Moon Fan Network blog, and we list a lot of places where you should have been able to order if not still available to order so if you're interested in grabbing this book for yourself definitely check out that blog i did get my copy and this is how it comes they do come shrink wrapped in plastic friends i have not even removed it i've actually got this about a week or so ago and i've been dying to look at it but i wanted to do a video for you guys and open it up you know naturally organically and my first reactions and impressions, we will be flipping through this book in its entirety a little later. So if uh, that's a concern for anybody who hasn't seen the Sailor Moon Cosmos movies, which by the way, they are not out internationally yet, only in Japan as of filming this video. <laughs> so uh, most of us have not seen it outside of Japan. So if you don't wanna be spoiled by how the movies look, I will have one more spoiler warning before we flip through this book but it's not yet so you can continue to watch it if you are worried about the spoilers we're not going to do that quite yet but this is that one i do want to say uh the eternal one did come out when the eternal movies uh came out as well this is the eternal one so this is uh volume two essentially of this one um this is based off of the eternal movies and then this one is based off of cosmos so if you guys collected this one it makes sense to grab this one too and i did do a whole video flipping through this entire book for Eternal. If you guys want to see what this one looks like inside in its entirety, I will have a link down there below to this video as well. It is in 4K, so you can flip through it and see. These are very nice all-color books. If you're a huge Sailor Moon fan, and especially if you love to um, like swoon over the animation, these are great pieces uh, for your library especially because they're all color. I guess it's time. It's time to remove the plastic. Mine also ha had a, like a little spot that's kind of ripped a little bit, so I could just grab it up here. Yeah, when you guys buy them brand new, they should always come shrink wrapped, okay? And these are these are fairly inexpensive. Uh, the most expensive part of this whole book is the shipping, getting them in uh, <laughs> to your country. Gosh, I think I, I did a group order to make it uh, cheaper for a lot of us. So I bought a couple of my friends uh, a book too, so we could split the shipping. But the shipping was like, you know, 3,000 yen uh, to ship the book. But when you split it with a friends, it makes it a little bit better. Here is the book. Oh, it's so glossy and beautiful, just like the Eternal one. Let me uh, bring this Eternal one over here so we can really feel the both of them. Feel the both of them. Is that what I just said? Feel the both of them. Yeah, sure. Okay, Brooke, that works. Um, they're thick books, uh, about the same thickness. Um, I wouldn't doubt it if they were around the same number of pages, too. Oh my god, I love them a lot. These are nice. Look at that rainbowness. Do you guys see that gradient? Oh, this book is wonderful. I'm just gonna just do a little flipsy real quick because this is nice. This is a nice memorabilia. You know. Honestly, I really wish they would end up translating these books and releasing them in English. These are pro uh, produced by Kodansha, which is the same publisher as the manga, the same publisher as Japan. So I really, I mean, it'd be a lot to translate. I think that would be amazing for international fans. Let me know if you guys agree, if you would love to see these, these visual books translated. Oh, they're so nice. So not only do they talk about the animation, um, and you know, the people that are a part of the movies in general, like the voice actors, uh, the directors, the animators, all of that. And of course, Nago Takauchi, there's interviews in here. They talk about like everything from the backgrounds to the music. They also go and uh, talk about a lot of the merchandise that was uh, released for these movies, which I think as a collector, it's amazing to have that database. This isn't a spoiler, so you guys can see this. They show in full color a lot of the merchandise. Look, there's all the cute posquettes right there um, released for Cosmos and love that. Love that as a collector so we can reference. They even show the movie goods right here. I will say there is an article by Kotono 
in this book that caused a lot of controversy on the internet. There was a lot of tweets from different people saying that this marked the last time Kotono was going to be voicing our dear beloved Usagi. It was actually in this interview right here. It has been interpreted and translated in many different ways and a lot of us don't know what Kotono means. Like what's her intent behind what she said? Some people are saying this means that she is retiring her voice for Usagi, like she doesn't plan to be the voice of Usagi anymore. Others interpret it as she's just saying, hey, I'm just done with this version of Usagi because this is marking, or Cosmos is marking the end of Sailor Moon Cosmos. So people are just saying, she's saying goodbye to that part of Sailor Moon, not necessarily the character in general. There was such a mess over Twitter on what Kotono meant in the specific article. Now what I did was I grabbed my Google Translate app. I actually did a uh, phone recording of the translation and this is what it says. This is according to a Google auto translate of this article. It says, thank you very much for your general support for Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. In this cosmos, it was the last time I played Usagi-chan in the video. I put all my love and soul into the performance, so please go see it in theaters. I am really thankful to you. So the way that Google puts it, it doesn't sound like she's retiring as Usagi. It just sounds like she's wrapping up the whole reboot as Usagi and just, you know, saying thank you and thanks for supporting it or please go support it in the theaters as my last performance of Crystal Eternal Cosmos's version of Usagi or Sailor Moon. So I think that's the what she's trying to portray. But let us know your guys' thoughts on what she may have meant down there in the comments. If you speak or read Japanese, please let us know how you interpreted what Kotono said in the last bit of this article in the Sailor Moon Cosmos visual book. I think it's fun to discuss and uh, just to kind of think about what it means for Sailor Moon's future. Will Sailor Moon be back in another format, like another story? Oh my gosh like the game, right? You know, cause I, I feel like it's not over for Sailor Moon. I'm hoping it's not over for Sailor Moon. I know we haven't even got the Cosmos movies as of yet outside of Japan. Um, let us know what you think is in store next for the Sailor Moon franchise down there in the comments. All right, guys, we are about to flip through this book in its entirety. I'm gonna go kind of fast. So if you guys want to stop on a specific page, make sure you pause this video so you can see everything. Also, this is your last spoiler warning. We will be flipping through this book. There will be spoilers for both of the Cosmos movies. If you don't wanna be spoiled by any of the animation stills inside this book, I would stop watching now. Okay, let's go and check out the Sailor Moon Cosmos visual book.
When you remove the slip cover and the OB, this is how the book looks. Beautiful. It's got a silver lining to it and it continues on the back. How neat. Let me know what you guys thought of the Sailor Moon Cosmos visual book. Did this video change your mind? Do you want to grab one for yourself? Don't forget, I have the links down there below to all the places that you could import this if you want to grab a copy for yourself. Hopefully it is still available. I don't know if it is or not, but uh, click the link below. It should take you to our blog post all about this book and where to grab one. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching my videos and supporting my content. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this book. And double check and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn those notifications on so you never miss anything from me. More videos are on the way, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Loves. Love. What am I saying? Love. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. There we go. You know, it's been a day. I filmed two videos in one day. I feel super accomplished. You guys are awesome. Thanks again. Have a good one.